Well, it's been a couple of weeks, and I thought I'd show you what I've been up to. Last video I did, it was about uh, applying the tinted epoxy resin. What I have on the deck now are three coats. And as you can see, it's not 100% opaque, but it has certainly made a very good white base to put my paint on. I've also installed a bow eye, just because this uh, sea flea is going to be a little on the heavy side and I'm going to need something to pull it back up on the trailer. Here, I installed this after I put the decking on and that was a little problematic, but I was able to do it. Let me just show you what I've done in here. I'm going to bring in my light. And it's going to be difficult to see, but under the deck here, I had to drill right through the bow stem and put the quarter inch bolt right through there. But right up inside there, I had to uh, reinforce the bow stem and I had to put some uh, epoxy filler in. You cannot see the nut because it's buried, but trust me, it is in there and it's very solid. The other thing I've done is I've finished off the floorboards and the floorboards are just sitting on here right now. I decided to leave the hidden part, the original color, just for posterity's sake. I've applied uh, a couple of coats of epoxy resin on both sides just to waterproof it. These will then get fastened down. And the driver's floorboard here. These are made out of 3 8 inch plywood. And this one's just sitting here as well. And you can see I haven't painted this either. I'm not going to install these permanently until I figure out how I'm going to put my steering mount on here. What I want to do is I want to be able to remove this board right here with the steering on. And on the original plans, it calls for the steering mount board to fasten permanently to this cross member, to this deck cross member here, and fasten permanently to the floorboard. What I'm afraid of is at some point during the running, I'm going to get water build up inside there, and I want to be able to take this floorboard out, but still have the steering mount in place. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten something along this frame so I can bring the steering mount board down and float it over top here so I can slide this out. For the cushioning on the floorboard, I bought these foam rubber play mats at Princess Auto. They were on sale, $9.99 and there's four of them here and you can see these all over the place they sell them at various hardware stores and lumber stores so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fasten them to the floorboard here and that'll give me something soft to kneel on and that's going to go on the front floorboard as well So I'm getting very close to painting the deck my rip slinger green. I nearly have the aesthetic parts of this Jinx hydroplane done. The other thing I need to do is put my motor support uh, pieces in here. This is the aluminum uh, plate that I have to fasten on here. I'm going to put a strip on top of the transom and then one on the back. And I've already purchased those from my local steel store. So I've decided to use this latex based paint for the deck. This may be the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life, but hey, I'm going to try it anyway. 
I do like the color and this is exactly the same paint that I've used on the hull. It's a primer and paint in the same can and uh, I don't know, we'll give it a try. Well, after a total screw up with my paint color, I finally figured out the real Ripslinger green that I used to paint the hull. And it was not a latex paint. It was in fact a fluorescent paint from Canadian Tire. And I've used this paint before and I know for a fact this is very durable. It's an enamel paint and it works. So what I've done is I have taped off the sides and the inside of the cockpit because I don't want any overspray on the boat. So I'm going to do half at a time and with any luck now this paint right here is the paint I should be using. Well, that's a lot better. That's exactly the color green I was looking for, and that perfectly matches the hull. So, one can of spray paint did one coat of the entire deck. I bought four cans because the first coat is still a little blotchy.
but it makes a great base coat here. You can see some streaking. And as I keep applying successive coats, it will even right up. Now, in case you've been wondering why I haven't been wearing a respirator, the wind today is absolutely terrific. And I propped the door open here, and there's a huge wind that's coming through. There's a good chop on the lake, and I've got fantastic crosswind going through my building shed here. So I just propped the door open a little bit, and all the paint fumes went from one end and you can see the tarp here is just blowing like crazy through the other end so i'm very pleased with my color and i'm going to let this dry up and then i'll be back again tomorrow for the second coat Okay, let's try this again. All right, that can finishes off coat number four. So, here I am. Now I've got my uh, respirator on and my hat because it's awfully green in here. Like I said, it ain't easy being green. But I've got four coats of this green fluorescent paint on. I've got one more coat to go, and then I'm going to seal it up with my um, Transstar Jam and Clear, which is a really cool, smooth glass finish I'm going to put on it. So I'm just going to show you what four coats looks like right now and I'm going to let it dry up and then uh, put on the fifth coat and then the clear coat. What do you think, Lala? Stop. Stop! No! Get back here! You have to paint the boat! Get back here! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>